Hey guys and girls, welcome back to another beautiful video on this beautiful channel, on this beautiful day. How you guys and girls doing? Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, we're back. We're gonna work on this beautiful um, uh, open geo, open geo tutorial. Alright, so what I want to do today is I want to I wanna start off this whole procedure in dividing the whole main class up into, up into files. Alright, so having a game class and having everything in there but before we start doing that there's a few things we need to do so this is gonna be a little shorter video and I know a bunch of you having having problems with uh, um, versions so I have a little hack fix here that we're gonna work with so we're gonna leave this code this isn't from before this is new code that I've written beforehand and uh, you can just look at this and I'll explain what it does just in a minute but before that we are gonna make a beautiful function in our main class which kinda removes the window creation from the main um, the main code here so we're gonna put it into a function and that's gonna help us later on as we move everything into the class which we're gonna create in the future coming videos um, it's gonna help us out a lot so let's just start off by making a glf w window pointer create create window like that and we're gonna need a const int width we're just gonna call it well we'll call it width for ease and comfort uh, constant height then we're gonna need a let me just put those down here then we're gonna need a uh, int fb width and this has to be a reference um, a reference please thank you and then a int um, fb height height width uh, and then we're gonna have a few things here we're gonna have an int a gl major version and then int let me make the v like that an int gl minor version like this and then we're gonna have a boolean for uh, resizable just for now we can add more options in here later it's gonna be easier with the class because we'll have all these as uh, class member variables so we won't have to worry too much about having parameters like this but for now we're gonna need the parameters so what I want you to do is I want you to go down here and I also want you to add a const char um, before the width here let's do a const char pointer um, title like this so we'll be able to add a title and everything okay that should be fine and then we just want to kind of go down here all the way down here okay all this and just copy paste control X all of that stuff all right and just paste it in here okay just for now we're gonna get some errors don't worry about it before you do anything else go back down here where you control X everything make a GLFW window pointer window again and now just say equals uh, glfw or create window okay and now we're gonna insert all of these parameters so youtube what is the title youtube tutorial youtube tutorial that's one parameter and uh, we're gonna give it some more parameters width and height so the width is window width and then window height and then we have frame buffer width and frame buffer height then we're gonna have the version numbers so what I'm using right now is 4 and we're gonna have 5 and then we're gonna have uh, false for resizable and yeah, that's the last parameter. So there you go. So four five. I usually have four four, right? Four four, four point four. But uh, I'm gonna try with four point five right now. This is my uh, OpenGL version. To check your OpenGL version again, please just you can go in to Google, just search how do I check my OpenGL version, and then you'll probably find something called a GL viewer or something like that. And there, or you can check it in your gra uh, in your graphics drivers um, down here in the NVIDIA or or, or 
uh, Redeon settings, whatever. Uh, but otherwise, just go get a GL viewer and you'll get all the OpenGL data. And it should say version 3.3, 4.4, 4.0, 4 whatever you have, it should say that there. And depending on what you have, if you're having errors creating windows and you're getting null pointer exceptions and you're getting a bunch of errors, just go ahead and change these into that. Okay, so if you have version 3.3, change this to 3 and this to 3. If you have version 4.0, change this to 4 and this to 0. Okay, so that's kind of how you, you work with that. So the major version and the minor version. Um, yeah, I, another thing I want to do, I just want to set these to window width and window height from beginning, like that. And then we create an OpenGL window and no problems. We just need to change some stuff in here. So we need to change this to width and this to height, this to FB width and FB height, and this to title. And we have a here. We're just gonna say false. Or no, sorry, uh, resizable, resizable. So there you go. Now you can change your minor and major here as well. You have to do that. Uh, GL major version, and then on the bottom one, the minor, GL minor version. Okay, so you have your major and your minor version. Now you can kind of create a window depending on what uh, minor and major versions that you want to have. Okay, and it's really important to just remember what you have here. Okay, now one more thing I want to do is I want to actually do a int gl major version equals, I'll, I'll put them right here, I'll say 4 and because we're gonna have to send these uh, on later on, GL major version minor version. Sorry, minor version equals five. So if you guys and girls know a better way of doing this, uh, you can do it. In the class, it will look a lot cleaner, so we don't have to worry about it. Um, I'll have a const int here as well because this probably won't change during runtime. Um, there you go, const int. And then a const int right there should be fine. Um, yeah, that should be fine. So major and minor, major and minor. And I'm going to put them here as well. GL major version. And then GL minor version. Boom. Easy peasy. Okay. So now we can set our variables here and we can send them in and create a window of our choice so it's a little easier to set the options here okay and we can send in a resizable thing as well I just wrote false here but you can have a boolean here for resizable you can make a dot uh, ini file or some kind of file that keeps track of all these options so you can kind of load it in easily from that file and so on and so on just make sure you create the window and just make sure you don't forget the glfw make context current because the whole OpenGL, all of the OpenGL functions need that initialized before they're loaded in. Okay, you need to make sure you have a OpenGL uh, context set before you load in GL or um, glue glue. So just make sure that's done. Okay, don't forget this. Um, so that's good. Here you know you got an option for macOS as well. Don't forget that if you're running on macOS. Uh, but that's cool. So we we create a window. Now let me just go into shader.h where I was and I'm just going to copy or I'm just going to leave this as it is. I won't, I won't really bother you with that right now. Let's see what the problem was. Must return a value. Sorry about that. So make sure you return um, window here as well. Window. Boom. Just return this window temporary pointer. This pointer will be gone. But since we're putting it into another pointer over here, we shouldn't have a problem. So let's just run this and we should get a beautiful window with a cat okay boom boom so one thing i want to show you in each of your shader files you have a version number up here let me just show you let's open a shader and i'm going to show you exactly what i mean so here's a shader there is a version number up here and this is for your OpenGL version 
so or your GLSL version, which should be the same as your OpenGL version. Okay, so if you're running a version 3.3 outside here in the OpenGL version, major and minor, you want this to be three and three, so three three zero. Obviously, for this, it's four point four, but it should be four point five, right? Because I set this to four five. So OpenGL version 4.5, this should be 4.5.0. So we want to make this kind of dynamic depending on um, depending on uh, what version we're running right now of OpenGL. Okay, so a way I want to do that to solve that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to open shader.h here, and we have our version here. All right, so I'm just going to I'm just going to create a um, for the constructor. Of this beautiful, uh, where is it? Uh, let's see. Wait, I was right there, right? Yeah, I was right here. Okay, so here we go. Um, in version like that, version major, and int version minor. Okay. Um, so we have our major and our minor. Now let's go down to our constructor right here so we're gonna have our files but before we send in our files I want to send in a const int version major and a const int version minor like that and we're gonna set this to a constant as well and this is a constant like this and then we're going to go down and we're going to in the initializer list down here we're going to initialize our constant so version major major equals version major and then version minor equals version minor so I hope I spelled that correctly everything's fine so now we have our version major and minor from the outside now we know what they are now every time I load a source file I'm gonna find the version I'm gonna say std string version uh, equals to string um, version major uh, plus to string version minor let's just do this and we need std to string as well this um, and I'm gonna make this a little cleaner so I'm just gonna do this plus zero like that and this needs to be std to string so now we have our version which is going to be a string of the major and the minor and a zero at the end okay and we want to set that here so version version plus this version uh, not this version plus version kind of so that's kinda <laughs> version number okay version number so we have version space plus version number that is our total string so I'm just gonna put two parentheses around this just so we we're sure and 12 because that's the number of spaces between the version space and the end of what I want to replace so this is how you replace something in the string and I'm just printing that out um, which you probably don't have to do actually uh, let's just Let's just replace it like this and it will still print everything out. So this is the way I want to do it. So I get the version number and I replace it and we should be fine. So um, yeah, and going to go back into main and it's going to be a little red dot here and it's going to tell me to uh, set these versions. So I'm going to create a core program and I'm going to create it with ver GL version, GL major version. GL minor version. So I got the major and the minor, and if I run this, hopefully, and I pray to the OpenGL gods that this is going to help me out, it's going to work. Okay, it seemed to work, didn't really crash. Um, and, and yeah, it didn't crash. Actually, it did not crash. It did not crash. Um, okay, 
so that seems seems okay um, let's see std c out src new line so if we print out the source I just want to see what the hell it looks like because it should have printed out uh, but we'll see we'll see how this looks okay so if we go all the way up we'll see a version uh, if I just uh, can I increase the font here edit uh, properties font okay here we go so I'll just increase this to 36 oh god okay <laughs> version 450 okay version 450 and if I if I run this uh, for some of you who have older computers or integrated graphics cards you probably want to try this at 3 3 okay so 3 3 if I run this uh, I should get version number 330 up here so we kind of automatically replace the versions of our shader and everything just by changing these two variables and it changes what is in the window as well so this is a, a little easier way for us to work with everything I hope you followed me on everything there and everything made sense so just try this out remember to change your shader.h file here uh, with all of this version code here you get another look at it if you need to if you need to check it out, this is the, all the new code. I'll upload this code to GitHub. So if you need to check it out, please do that there. Um, I got a bunch of links in the description for for uh, for um, what do you call it? Uh, playlists for other different playlists uh, that you can watch if you need to learn C++ and stuff a little better. Um, I got my support page. I really appreciate if you check that out. Um, please just like and subscribe if you like the content. Uh, otherwise, it's just, it's just nice that you're watching. Thank you so much for all the support and sticking with me for all you guys who, who give me support on a daily basis and everyone who's new as well. I hope you enjoy the content. I hope you learn something new. Keep working hard. Take care, guys and girls. I'll see you guys and girls in the next one. All right? Bye-bye.